Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yeah, this person lied, they betrayed you, they had in and out energy, then they they kept you in no communication. Um, it feels like they kept you on hold while they were trying to make a life decision here. Uh, what path to choose. I'm just really feeling like this person's really overwhelmed, okay? Um, they're having a lot of inner turmoil about what to do. They want to come towards you. This is someone who literally cannot stop thinking about you, you guys, with the, with the Six of Cups here. Um, they know they missed out on, like, this is like the ultimate love, okay? This was a blessing here. This person could have even prayed for you at one point, and you were the answer to their prayers, and they didn't recognize it. And I feel like now they're just, they're very, this is like a lot of inner turmoil. I'm just feeling this overwhelmed feeling off of this person, like they want to choose this path with you. They really want you, but they did so much to break your heart. Um, and I feel like they can't sleep anymore. This person's not sleeping. They may not even be eating. Um, they're... Nighttime is really bad for this person. I feel like they're having nightmares um, about how they treated you and how it must have felt. Okay? But, yeah, I'm feeling this very overwhelmed feeling off of this person. A lot of inner turmoil because they want to come towards you, but they don't know if you're going to talk to them or not. I feel like when this person hurt you, when they lied and betrayed you, took advantage of your of your love, or maybe, maybe you were in a... Um, like a vulnerable time in your life or something they took they just took advantage of you and they know what they did okay ever since they did that you haven't been speaking to this person it's like you just kind of you just kind of took the the licks right um and yeah they don't know if you're going to talk to them again or not you may have this person blocked they don't know how to how to even reach you now i feel like this person would have to actually physically come and talk to you because um, they don't know how to connect with you again. Yeah, and this is what they want to do. They want to apologize for all of this collective, okay? They can see, too, that you're moving on. You could be in the public eye. You could have, you could just be posting things on Facebook, you know, social media. Um, but they're, uh, they're seeing you out here confident, healed, balanced in your emotions like they don't think that you love them anymore and you may not i actually see you closing out a cycle here with the world card um respecting yourself yeah see all of this is true and this is them wanting to wanting to talk um but yeah you may even be making a move like um a location change you could do something on the internet, right? Um, if you work on the internet, you could be le you could be leaving the location, right, and going to somewhere else in the world. Like it could be another continent, another state, and you know, uh, anywhere where there's where there's internet, you could go. You could be a Gemini. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Your person could possibly be a um, a Pisces. Maybe a uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. Yeah, and there's that Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. This person wants to take some kind of action. They do not want to miss this opportunity with you. Um, I, I feel like they've already missed it, though. I'm really getting the sense that you're not speaking to them and you're moving on. Okay, clarify this Ace of Cups and this King of Wands. This King of Wands is, see, this is where all of this overwhelming turmoil is coming from. This is a person who's used to going after the things that they want, okay, with a passion, okay? They're used to doing impulsive things, okay? Um, and they usually don't hold themselves back. The King of Wands is not known for holding themselves back from anything that they want. 
but that's what they've been doing, okay? It's like they, they feel like a fish out of water here, <laughs> you know? Um, and all they can do is think about you. I feel like this person is in their emotions. They're, think, they're looking back to something from their past, like everything that they've done to you here. Yeah, and it's a tower moment. They're realizing, um, and I, they're realizing they played you. They were in toxic energy. They they fed your head full of lies. Okay, um, made some kind of illusion that you know. I feel like this person came in and promised you the world. They were very romantic, very passionate for you, um, and uh, they made you believe that it was going to last forever. And then they left. They just, like, ghosted you, okay, in and out energy. And then they stopped talking. Now you're not talking to them, okay? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Capricorn, maybe a Scorpio. They're thinking back on all of this, and they're like, oh, my God, what did I do? What have I done? I had the best love that I was ever going to find. Seriously, collective nobody compares to you if this person was with someone else because they very well could have been if they were with someone else collective man there's just there's there's no contest um you're everything to this person i'm also getting the sense that they could be um they could be somebody who maybe drinks a lot i don't know with the ace of cups and the seven of cups out here they also know that's eight cups, so I feel like this person did ghost you. They just, like, walked away from you. Maybe they were entertaining other people. This could be somebody who was definitely a player in the past. They could have played others as well. I'm seeing them having a lot of other options out here. But, yeah, they know that they really screwed up with you. This is this tower moment, right? A realization that they never should have done you dirty because now they want to get back to, get back together. They want to reunite. They want to build something solid. This could be somebody you had been married to in the past as well. And I feel like it, when you were with them, they were happy. I mean, you were building a solid foundation with this person, maybe. But they wanted to entertain other people or go out and have a good time. Maybe this person was a partier. Okay, and now I feel like they're, look, they're all up in their emotions now. Maybe they, uh, they've been, yeah, I feel like this person goes out, they drink, um, they have a good time. They pick up on other people. You know, they could have started third parties. This person could have even once bragged about how they were treating you. Bragged about how they hurt you. Okay? And now they're, uh, they're a mess. They're an emotional mess inside. Very overwhelmed here. Not just in emotions, but... Um, Having to hold themselves back from you, okay, knowing they need to apologize, but then again, I feel like they even know that their apology, apology may not even, you know, be worth anything at this point. This person could have um, been in no communication with you up to a couple of years. I'm seeing, you know, two of wands, two of swords, two years to four years maybe this person um yeah, look, they were a manipulator. You know, I feel like they're trying to make some kind of plan, right? Um, I'm really getting the sense that this person wants to come towards you um, like they've got their life together. Okay, but they don't with the tower out here and the four of cups out here. Um, yeah, and no sleep at night. They want to come towards you like they're your big hero or something, you know? Like, look at me. I'm on a pedestal. Here I am. You know, I feel like this person wants to find some kind of way um, to make you look at them the way you did before. Maybe you put them on a pedestal. You know, you could have thought that they were the best thing since sliced bread, right? Um, maybe you celebrated this person. You know, I feel like you made them feel like a big shot. You made them feel, um, (sighs) 
You made them feel important. You made them feel loved and cared for. You made them feel like like they were awesome. Okay? This is how you made them feel. And that's that's what they want. That's how they want you to see them again. And it's not going to happen. Like this is an illusion. It's an illusion they're trying to bring in. Okay? Um and I feel like they really just wanted to keep you stuck in your head. And that's where they kept you in this Eight of Swords energy for a long time. It could have been up to eight years. You know, this person could have said some nasty things to you in the past, too. You know, they could have um, said and done whatever they wanted. I just feel like they want you to believe that they've got their life together and they don't. Collective, they don't. Um, there could be other people around this person as well that know what they did to you. And know how they treated you. And now they're losing their, their reputation and their credibility with those people as well. Okay, because of possibly all the bragging that they've done. You know, people are starting to see um, what this person has done. And I, I, I'm also getting the sense that maybe they're even being made fun of a little bit because... Um, they've, everybody's able to see you on this major glow up. You're the one who's actually on a pedestal. Okay. And I feel like you put yourself there. I feel like you, uh, you've really put in the effort for yourself. You've transformed your life. You're at the end of a cycle. Now you've learned your lessons. And uh, honestly, you're just, you're standing in so much confidence right now. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, you gave this person so much love. I feel like you gave everyone um, so much love and nurturing. And everybody sees it now. I feel like people are, are on this person. Not only that, but if they're still talking about you and still, you know, sad over you, people are asking them, you know, like, because they're trying to keep their emotions hidden. They're trying to get everybody to believe that they've got it all together. But everybody is like, if you can't stop talking about the collective and you can't stop moping around and being sad about the collective, then why did you go and hurt them in the first place? You know, you must still be crazy about the collective, right? So I feel like they're getting questioned. Yeah, judgment. They're getting questioned by other people around them. I feel like this person's under judgment, too, for not making things right um, after how they hurt you. And in player energy, they could have hurt other people the same way. You know? They should have never bragged about you. High Priestess energy. You know, I get the sense that I get the sense that you may be getting a new emperor here. You could be in this high priestess energy. Maybe that's what they're thinking. Maybe they're feeling like you're hiding something or hiding somebody, you know, or um, being secretive about a new connection here. Yeah, you could be moving on with someone else. Maybe um, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe a Taurus. I've got heavy Libra out here. You could be a Libra. You could be a Cancer, Cancer, Pisces. But I'm seeing you moving on. Okay, yeah, starting something passionate with someone new. This person's thinking you're keeping something a secret. Okay, they're thinking that you're keeping a new connection or um, a, a passionate relationship a secret. And you could be. I feel like why would you tell this person anything that you're doing? You know, I don't feel like they're part of your life anymore. I feel like they hurt you. They left you. They left you behind and you just kept living your life. You know, you picked yourself up and you healed and now you're determined to move forward um, getting your justice. The scales are being balanced out. I'm seeing a new emperor out here. You know, they may even be getting told that by other people that you're, um, you know, you've got someone new or you will in the future. Okay. 
Yeah, so it's either a big fear because this person is worried, they're scared that you're going to get someone new, that they're not going to get another chance, okay? And they're watching you like a hawk, trying to find out who it is that you're with, where you're going, what are you doing, right? They're trying to find out. So if you have anything on social media, right, any kind of social media, that's where they're watching the most. Okay, and they're not only looking at whatever you're posting out there, but they're looking at all of the comments and then they're going into that page and trying to find out if that person is, is around you. They're searching for pictures, any kind of any kind of answer as to if you're already with someone new. Because um yeah, they can feel it, okay? They can feel that you're about to get new love if you haven't already. And this is freaking them out. What action is this person going to take? Yeah, see, there, and they could be finding out here that you've got a new soulmate connection. Yeah, a new beginning with somebody new, with somebody with a King of Pentacles energy. They may even know somebody who wants to come towards you, okay? Possibly a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And they could be very jealous about this. So you've got a person, one person from your past here. Um, this person is the one who's looking back on everything. But you've got another person coming in here. And I'm wondering if these two know each other. Do they know each other? Are these two exes? Because one wants ultimate happiness with you. Yeah, and they're in a lot of regret and feeling very burdened. So you've got two X's here, collective, um, that are going kind of crazy over you right now. They're both in a world of regret. They both missed an opportunity with you. They both could have had this Ten of Cups, okay? Ultimate wish fulfillment with the most loving queen in the deck, okay? They both want a new beginning, Yeah, they're both feeling this burden and very overwhelmed. And they're both seeing you move on. So I feel like, yeah, I don't know, um, put yourself where you have to in this reading and take it how it resonates, but I'm seeing two exes that want to come back in. You know, there may even be a fight between the two of them, or they could be in competition with each other. Like I said, I kind of get the sense that they know each other. Yeah. Wow, Collective. You, you're you just uh, a popular little thing, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, all these exes, now they want to come back in because they're seeing you move on. They feel you leaving their life. Okay, and they don't really know what to do. They both want this new beginning. This King of Pentacles here, I feel like they're ready to get serious. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. They may even be in a commitment with someone else, though. And that's maybe why they're walking around very burdened. Everybody's watching this person like, literally hate their life wherever they are in a lot of regret they're just mopey you know and maybe they have a lot of financial burdens as well i feel like they chose someone else over you and um they don't want to be there they want to be with you building with you so both of these exes they both know each other i feel okay and um, they're kind of competing with each other, but um, I feel like it's over for both of them. Yeah, you're in the process of clearing this energy out. I feel like you, uh, you've got blessings coming to you as well. Yeah, and you're choosing a new path. You're realizing that neither one of these people are worthy of your love. They're just not worthy. You've given them enough time 
and you've been very patient. I feel like you've waited to maybe for everybody to make things right with you, and nobody did. Nobody came towards you to make anything right, okay? So you're dropping all of this, and you're moving on. It's time for you to go. You could be making some location change, you know, go uh, moving away, possibly buying a new home. And I feel like you just, you feel good about yourself, you know? And these people, these two exes, they just uh, don't meet the requirements. You know, neither one of them have been there for you. And they're not there for you still. Okay, I see you moving on alone. And as you go, uh, these people are feeling it. They're feeling that detached. They're feeling um, the loss of you. Okay. All right. Yeah, so you're sweeping this energy out and closing out a cycle. It's time. It's time to go. Yep, and the divine's like, come with us. You know what? We've got, we've got b bigger and better things planned for you. <laughs> I feel like you are about to get new love. I feel like you're... You're protected and you've been divinely led. And honestly, you're, you're surrendering to what the divine wants you to do because they've been the only ones there for you when you, were, when you were hurt. No one else came to help you or tried to heal anything with you, but God was there. So you're listening to God. And you're moving forward. Yeah, I'm seeing a, maybe a new community here. Um, a house move, a location change. Building blocks. Yeah, because wherever you've been, I, I feel like you've done all you can do. Um, there's no more to build there. Like, you can't build anything there, wherever it is that you are or have been. Because you're being moved to someplace new, okay? And, um, yeah, it's felt like stagnant. It's been stagnant. You've been very alone. You could have been feeling publicly humiliated. You know, because there's been a lot of talk about you. And I feel like you're just done. This unfinished symphony is coming to an end with a 10. So your life is about to start moving quickly, okay? Or you're going to be moving quickly. Um, but yeah, this is a cycle that's closing out with everyone from the past who's wronged you and didn't have the common sense and the decency to make things right, okay? You're leaving these people behind. But let me tell you, as you go, they're very overwhelmed. Their, um, their head is a chaotic mess. They can feel you detach. They feel that loss of you. They know what they've lost here. And they're very regretful for how they treated you, both of them. There's, I feel like there's two exes. Both of them are, are very emotional and burdened by this. Okay? Just know that. 